What is up everyone, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you to the first episode of the series, What If Naruto Had The Renegon? Today is my first ever regular Naruto What If, and it is a collaboration with my good friend Go Go Goten. So if you want to watch part 2, it will be on his channel, and there will be a link to that in the description of the video. And if you end up liking today's video, then please, consider subscribing. It is free, and you can always unsubscribe later. There's a link in the description of the video to join my Discord server, and also to become a channel member if you want to support the channel. I have have another channel where I post Star Wars What If and I also have a channel where I post gaming videos as well so if you want to check them out in the description of the video then you can and with all of that out of the way let's get into first episode of What If Naruto Had The Renegon now I know that this idea sounds incredibly far-fetched but when you think about it it really isn't all you have to do is change one single thing about Naruto's character if you have watched the Naruto series then you will know that in canon Naruto is the reincarnation of the son of the sage of the sixth path, known as Asura. However, in this what if, there's just going to be a slight change. Instead of being the reincarnation of the son of the Sage of the Sixth Paths, we are instead going to make him the reincarnation of the Sage of the Sixth Paths. And this most minor change will make the most significant difference. This video begins at the moment of Naruto's birth. Kushina is holding her baby son, and Minato looks at him and is shocked as he sees his purple spiral eyes. He's only heard of two people ever having those eyes the Sage of the Sixth Path, and a former student of his master Jiraiya. The medical ninja then begin to take Naruto away, and Minato is about to put the seal back on Kushina, but a masked man then takes Naruto hostage in order to prevent this. However, when the masked man looks down at Naruto and sees his eyes, he is quickly surprised. These can't be the eyes of Madara, as those were already implanted in another child. How could this be? The man with the mask ignores this for now, throwing Naruto into the sky as he jumps up and is about to stab him with a kunai, but Minato saves his son, and from this point forward, things remain the same, up until after the fated demise of Kushina and Minato. After their deaths, the village has mixed feelings about Naruto. For those who know of the immense power of the Renegon, some fear Naruto more than in canon, as he possesses both the Nine Tails and the Renegon. However, others instead of fearing Naruto, actually respect him and admire him. He could very well be the reincarnation of the Sage of the Six Paths, and that is something to be admired. One of the people who feared Naruto's power was Donzo, and he would try to plot to steal the Renegon for himself, however the third Hokage would have expected this, and made it clear that if anyone even attempted to steal Naruto's eyes, he wouldn't hesitate to kill them. So yeah, that's why nobody steals his eyes from him. Once Naruto is finally old enough to join the academy, he quickly becomes popular among the students. With the Renegon, he is able to copy any ability they are being taught almost instantly, making his popularity rival even Sosuke. So while half of the class crushes on Sosuke, the other crushes on Naruto. And when the two do a sparring match as a part of a lesson, both sides of the class cheer them on. But since Sosuke hasn't even got a Sharingan yet, he is far outclassed by Naruto, which greatly upsets Sosuke's side of the class. But even though Naruto does far outclass Sosuke, they do have some sort of friendly rivalry. They are the only people in their class that each other actually respect. And once Sosuke's clan is massacred, and Sosuke keeps to himself, Naruto is the only one who he seems to talk to. A lot of time passes, as we head to the graduation exam for the students to become Genin. Naruto passes with no difficulty, but afterwards, he overhears Mizuki talking to a student about a secret way to pass the exam. And Naruto thinks something is a bit fishy, so he follows the student to the Hokage's office, and once the student is about to leave the office with the scroll of forbidden jutsu, Naruto says that he isn't really all that smart. But even he knows that Mizuki is full of crap. There's no secret way to pass, that doesn't make any sense. Naruto tells him to give him the scroll, and after they do so, Naruto heads to the spot where Mizuki and the kid were supposed to meet. But Iroko is the first one to find Naruto, and Iroko is confused, as Mizuki told them that another kid stole the scroll. Naruto explains the situation to Aruka, and Aruka quickly understands that Mizuki was planning to betray the village and steal the scroll from himself. But after this discovery, Aruka feels a sharp pain in his back as Mizuki stands on top of a tree branch after throwing a giant shuriken in Aruka's back. Naruto sees this, and he begins to hold his head as his anger becomes out of control. Much like Nagato when his parents died, Naruto is letting his anger get the best of him, and for the first time, he uses an ability of the Renegon in his rage. 
Naruto pushes Ibuki to the side, then using Almighty Pull on Mizuki, which brings the Chunin flying towards him, before using an Almighty Push, which sends him crashing through multiple trees. Naruto would then create thousands of Shadow Clones, which he learned how to do from the scroll while he's waiting for Mizuki to arrive, and they all rush towards Mizuki, as they all use Almighty Pull on him, bringing him towards them, before they all push him once again. This time, Mizuki being sent flying at a much further distance than before. Mizuki has multiple broken bones, but Naruto is still in his blacked out rage, and as he is about to attack Mizuki once again, he falls to the ground, unconscious, and a short time later, he wakes up to Aruka standing over him, making sure he's okay, and Naruto has no memory of the events which just transpired. Aruka deciding to not tell Naruto, and the third Hokage who saw this all take place on his orb, chose not to either. It would bring nothing but trouble. Some time passes. Naruto, Sakura and Sosuke are all waiting for their new sensei to arrive. And Naruto sets up a prank for their new sensei because he's taking so long. But both Sakura and Sosuke find this childish. Though Sosuke can't help but be slightly amused by it. They continue to wait for their new sensei. And Sakura begins to daydream as she thinks she is so lucky. She is with the two most popular boys in her school. She has to get with at least one of them. Preferably Sosuke, but she wouldn't mind being with Naruto either. Naruto here does still have his crush on Sakura liking canon, however certainly not to the same extent as normal, since he has had a lot of girls liking him. So even if Sakura says no to him, Naruto thinks he has plenty of other options. Kakashi finally arrives, falling for Naruto's prank, but being unfazed, and telling his new squad to meet him on the roof. After they do so, Kakashi introduces himself, noticing Naruto's Rinnegan, but he ignores this for now, then asking the three what they like what they dislike, and what their goals are. Sakura starts first, being her sim past self, and basically answering every question by looking at Sosuke, other than her dislikes, which are people who get in the way of her love for Sosuke. And Naruto is the next person to answer, but this time, his answers are a bit different. He likes his friends and Ichiraku Ramen. He dislikes anyone who tries to hurt his friends, and his goal is to learn more about his dojutsu, learn all of the abilities it possesses, and control them. Not only that, but he wants to use that power to become the Hokage. Sosuke is lost, and his answer this time is slightly different. His likes and dislikes are the same, but for his goal, it is still to restore the Uchiha clan and kill a certain person, but he also wants to surpass another certain person. Kakashi noticing Sosuke glance over at Naruto as he says this. Kakashi keeps all of this in mind, and he tells his new squad to meet him tomorrow, and to make sure they don't eat any food beforehand, and confused but slightly worried, they all decide to listen. So a day later, all of Squad 7 arrive, as they begin to wait for Kakashi. And this is where we're going to end off the first part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick and easy to do. Also, I want to give a huge thank you to Yeti Myth, Cam McPherson, Mega Exo, Mr. Kangel, Jonathan Way, Neo Whitcomb, and All Might for becoming channel members. If you want to be shouted out at the end of the video and get other perks like the channel members here, then there is a link in the description down below to become a channel member. It greatly supports me and it helps me immensely. With all of that out of the way, hope to see you all in the next episode of What If Naruto Had the Renegon.